So this is the light compensator design procedure from step number one until step number eight. For step one, uh, we first draw the root locus spot for uncompensated system from the open loop transfer function GS. So we need to locate the dominant closed loop poles based on transition response specification, either settling time or peak time. In step two, we can determine uh, the transfer function of the compensated system which is equal to G this is the uncompensated transfer function multiply with G like uh, the compensated transfer function which is equal to the compensated transfer function in this case uh, G like has been labeled as S plus 1 over T where this is your ZC for lead compensator divided by S plus 1 over beta T where this is actually the PC for lead compensator ZC and PC is close to origin where PC is closer to origin compared to ZC in this case beta must be larger than 1 Next, in step 3, we need to evaluate the uncompensated static error constant, whether it is type 0 for KP, type 1 KV, or type 2 KA. In step 4, we need to evaluate the desired static error constant, usually given in the question. Uh, for example, we need to reduce the static error constant by 2 or by 5 and so on. Next, in step 5, determine the pole and zero of the lead compensator that produce the desired steady state error requirement in step 4. In this case, one of the uh, lead compensator pole or zero will be given in the question, so you need to determine the other one. Okay, Using this formula, let's say for type 0 system, KP new, divide by k p o is equal to z c over p c so if z c given in the question then you already calculate k p new and k p o you can determine the p c for lead compensator same goes to if you have type 1 so k v new divide by k v o equal to z c over p c next in step number six we need to draw new root locus for the compensated system and in step 7, we locate the desired dominant closed loop poles on root locus. And the last one in step number 8, finally, we adjust the gain KC so that the dominant closed loop poles lies on desired location. So this is example for lead compensator. Compensate the system of figure A whose root locus shown in figure in this figure to improve the steady state error by a factor of 10 this is what uh, this is that uh, we mentioned in step number 4 so to improve the steady state error by a factor of 10 if the system is operating with a damping ratio of 0.174 so the calculation of the root look uh, dominant poles and uh, damping ratio has been shown in the example number 1 which using the same block diagram. So first we determine the uh, uncompensated system error from example number one, the, the same block diagram. The system error is 0 0.104 with KP 8.23. The design requirements state that to improve the steady state error by a factor of 10, meaning that for new steady state error, we need to reduce by 10. So this old steady state error divide by 10, we have 0 0.0108. From this new steady state error, we can determine the new KP based on this equation where this new steady state error is equal to this one. This is the formula to determine the steady state error for type 0, 1 over 1 plus KP. So determine the KP in this case is equal to 91.59. 
So since this is type 0, so we use the formula of Kp nu divided by Kp old equal to Zc over Pc. So let's say given in the question Pc equal to 0 0.01 or negative 0 0.01. So using this equation, we can determine the compensator 0 which is equal to 0 0.111 or is actually equal to negative 0.111. 1, 1.